I'm not even going to attempt to say no, I'm going to give it a go. Go. Hello name nerds, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names, where each week we look into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we are looking to the first name of Chloe. But before we begin, I want to talk about my Instagram page. Now, Instagram is actually a social media platform I actually really oddly enjoy. I only really started using it a couple of years back, and I just find it really fun and refreshing. So I'd highly suggest you go follow me on Instagram. Go to Name Explain YT over on Instagram. I'll be there. It's more sort of my private life, sort of like what it is not really name on language related, but go check it out. I quite like it. I like using the app. If you want to see me wearing silly clothes and doing silly things, that's the best place for it. But anyway, on with today's name of Chloe. And Chloe's a really interesting name. It actually relates to colour of all things. The name comes from Greek and it simply means green shoots. Well, Wikipedia also says it means things like blooming and fertility, which are kind of the same thing. I sort of presume it's all about things growing, like a green shoot as in like a green shoot of a plant. So the name definitely has links and connotations with fertility and growth, which is cool. That's fun. Specifically, green growth, as we'll talk about right now. It's actually the first part of this name that relates to green, and it actually comes from the same root as the color green itself, as the name, as the name of the color green does. And it comes from some Proto-Indo-European root of a word. I'm not even going to attempt to say. Now I'm going to give it a go. Gre, Proto-Indo-European or pie, as we like to call it, is very strange, but that's where the color green comes from. As does the name Chloe. But what's really cool is how other words beginning with this close sound relate to green too. One of the best examples being chlorine. Chlorine is seen as being green, it's stuff you put in pools to keep it clean, green and clean. And the chlor at the beginning of chlorine is the same sort of claw sound you have at the beginning of the name Chloe. Cool. However, something fun about the name Chloe is that we're all spelling it wrong. Well, a lot of us are spelling it wrong, myself included. Most of the time in the English language, we will spell the name Chloe C-H-L-O-E. So you might be wondering, well, what's wrong with that spelling? Well, it all has to do with that E at the end. So this name is spelled, as I said, O-E, it ends with O-E. And normally words ending with O-E make like an O sound, kind of like with toe and wo and the name Joe as well. And we don't call this name Clo, do we? It goes Chloe, it makes that O-E sound. but. How are we doing that? Like how, that, that shouldn't be happening. The way this name is spelled, it shouldn't be pronounced that way. Like I said, we're, we're kind of spelling this name wrong. But we can spell this name correctly, thankfully. There's actually an alternate spelling of the name Chloe that is correct. It's actually the more correct way to spell this name. And that is C-H-L-O-E, but that E has a little accent on top, which we call a diuresis. The diuresis is pretty much the only accent mark native to English, and we don't really use it all too often. As I said, it's two little dots on top of letters, and it really serves the purpose of letting people know that the vowel is on top of, doesn't make a sound that relates to the vowel behind it. It makes its own unique sound. So a great example would be in a word like co-op. We don't, so co-op is spelled C-O-O-P, and yeah, just C-O-O-P. <laughs> um, if we use the diuresis, people will know that those two O's next to one another don't make a singular OO sound. It's not coop, it's co-op. And that would help it. We don't use it in that way there, however. We, we probably should. But this version of the name Chloe with this accent does exist and it makes so much more sense because, as I said, Chloe, the O and the E in Chloe, don't make a sound together. It's not clo. Those two vowels make their own unique sounds. And using this diuresis in this version of the name Chloe let people know that. It's it's the more correct way of spelling it. And I must admit, you do every now and then see this spelling of the name Chloe, but it's nowhere near as popular than the incorrect way of spelling it, which is strangely more popular. But then again, English is full of words that are spelled in ways they don't look like they should be spelled in regards to the way they sound. So maybe I'm just being silly, but I, I personally see we have a correct way of spelling this name and we aren't using it. We, we should do that. And what's also annoying is that the diuresis, the place we do see it most commonly in the English language, is with a different name altogether, that being the name Zoe. While you can spell Zoe just Z-O-E or Z-O-E-Y sometimes, sometimes people spell it Z-O-E with a diuresis. And this makes sense that we don't say it in the same way we say the name Joe or Toe. It's Zoe, we don't just say Zo. So it makes sense for you to so you do kind of see it more with Zoe than you do Chloe, but 
not as much. You see the other spellings as well. We should use them. We, just, we should just use accent. I made a whole video explaining why English needs accent marks, and this is a perfect example of that. So, next time you decide to name something Chloe, whether that be your child, or a pet, or a lump of wood. I don't know where that came from, that's on the notes. If you happen to name anything Chloe, just for me, do me a massive favour and add those two little dots to the top of the E and we'll be good to go. Cool. Famous Chloe's include, of course, Chloe Grace Mortez, the famous actress. Was she the lady in Kick-Ass? I think she was. I get her confused, the girl in Little Miss Sunshine. I'm not a big fan of Kick-Ass, but Little Miss Sunshine, the perfect film. Are they the same child? I don't know. We've also got Chloe Zhao as well. She's a film director. She directed The Eternals recently for Marvel. And there's also Chloe Frazier, the fictional Chloe from the game and film featured in the film as well. I haven't seen the film. But from Uncharted, go play Uncharted. Great games. And... Another Chloe has just come to my head, Chloe Kelly. She won the winning goal in the uh, Euro 2022 finals. She's she's an inspiration, I love her. Just another great Chloe. Sad emotional, don't I? No, I'm, I'm just very hungover. But that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Chloe. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Chloe? Are you called Chloe yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thoughts to you guys on last week's name of Jordan. Ziv Black said, The Jordan River is part of Jordan, the country's western border, so describing it as being within it or going through it is slightly misleading. Also, the country's previous name was Transjordan, as it's beyond the River Jordan. Thank you very much for pointing that out. That is very correct. Um, I did say in that video that the river runs through the country. It's not. It makes up one of its borders. But that also explains why the West Bank is in the east because it's the west bank of the River Jordan. If you look at a map of uh, Israel, it's on the uh, east. Like, why is it called the East Bank? Why is, why, 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 why is that the case? It's because it's related to the Jordan, not Israel, but that's something fun. I didn't know Jordan used to be called Transjordan. That's really cool as well. Thank you for sharing a form name of a country with me. I appreciate that. BJ Windsor said, first river I think that's also a person's name, Murray, and here's a few more. Shannon, Clyde, Lena, Mackenzie, Volga, Don, Magdalena, Fraser, Lakeland, and Krishna. Thanks for sharing those, BJ. Yeah, no, that's a great example. Uh, Shannon, Shannon's a great one. I didn't think about that. I should have thought of that one because I know people call Shannon. I knew there was a river Shannon as well. Great stuff. Well done, BJ. Thank you very much. And Ungan Bunyan said, Fraser yelling Niles made me squeal with the light. Yes, thank you so much. So here's a fun fact. All the awesome pictures and videos you see in these videos, Amber picks 99% of those. So um, I just sent her this footage. Not only does she make it into a cohesive video, she just adds all those cool images. I normally just leave her to her own devices. She finds amazing stuff. But that one clip was the one I actually requested she put in. I was like, make sure you get a clip of night of Fraser shouting Niles because I wanted that I'm glad I'm glad it was appreciated but she loved the river scene from Bridesmaids at the beginning she was dying to use that so win-win she got to put something she really wanted in there I got my own thing in there happy days and I'm glad you enjoyed it all too Niles! go suggest some names down in the comments below and I'll pick three of those to be put into a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on and then the winning name in that poll will be the name covered in the next fun with first names video so if you enjoyed the channel want to help support it and have a say in what names get explained, please do consider becoming a Patreon. Um, Patreon is the best way to support the channel. If you donate just $1 a month, you get loads of extra goodies, add free videos, exclusive content, just, just for $1. If you can afford it, I know times are tough at the moment, so supporting a YouTuber shouldn't be high on your priority. I'm terrible at doing this promotion stuff. Uh, <laughs> supporting a YouTuber shouldn't be high on your priority list, but if you can pay all your other bills and live a happy life and still got a dollar left by the end of the month, Consider throwing it name explained away or another better YouTuber. Just do what you want to do with it, basically. I'm terrible at this. I should go straight to influencer school or something. But anyway, that's just about enough for myself. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram where I'm name explain YT. And don't forget to go join the Facebook group, Friends of Name Explain. Okay, guys, take care. When I was recording that video, am I gonna sneeze? I'm gonna stop recording before I start sneezing. So far, so good. Being a chlorophene. Chlorophene, is that what it's called? Have I just made up a word? Chlorine, chlorophene, chlorine. And don't forget to go join the face. I just dropped my phone. This is a wreck, Amber. I can shut off now.